anyway I'm gonna leave the window open I like hearing the rain you know it sounds like someone's peeing do you see that highlight hello my loves and welcome back to my channel today I'm coming to you guys with a Mac haul and I am super super excited I got this on release date I ordered this May 14th which was the release date for the wash and dry collection and it is this bad boy right here I think I'm gonna do a screenshot online at 9 22 a.m. Yes, I did. I do remember the time I was up all morning and then I got to take a nap so I can come back to work that night. So anyway, I'm just going to get started and I'm sorry if I still sound nasally. It's just that I've still been really sick and I'm just trying to get over all this gunk and ugh, it's gross. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So I'm going to go ahead and just take everything out of the box and show you guys and swatch everything for you up close and hopefully my camera portrays the true color. So most of the packaging is in this trio of tropical colors. We have an aqua color um, or turquoise color, a nice sunset orange and a nice golden yellow and it just gives it this tropical look i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the lipsticks um the packaging on these is amazing <sighs> i do have my aquatics collection it is packed up away in this pretty decent big box and these have to get packed away as well because i am moving so it is what it is so i got two of the mac bullets in the special edition summer collection encasements or whatever it is and I got two of their regular line colors I got creme de nude which I actually have on my lips right now I'm using it as a topper underneath I have Jordana's Coco Loco which is a really rich brown lip liner it's super soft and is super affordable pick that up and I also have Anastasia of Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in pure Hollywood and then I ate and it just wore off a little bit and I added creme de nude and this is a staple item in their collection so it has a peachy pink undertone to it but it is very light lipstick and you can always deepen it or contour the lips a little bit with a dark lip liner so this is a beautiful item to have in your collection so the next lipstick I got was Morange and this is just orange I don't normally care for orange lipsticks but because I knew that this was a color that came out in their collection already and I think it's a part of their regular line I just absolutely had to get it so what better way to get a summery color than by getting it in the summer packaging so Morange is an amplified cream lipstick and I've never had an amplified lipstick from Mac and I'm so glad that I picked this up this is a beautiful orange and it does come across more on the coral spectrum of the orange and I think with my skin tone that's why I get more of the um, coral undertones to it so I actually really really love this so I picked up one of their sculpting powders and this is look at the packaging it is so pretty oh it is gorgeous I just they never go wrong with their packaging this is called delicate and this is one of their bronzing bronze and sculpting powders and it is more on the cooler end I absolutely love it this will be perfect for just adding a hint of glow it has no shimmer to it but you can use it to sculpt and contour and also bronze the face and it will just add this nice cool sheen to it I do notice that you need to apply this with a more denser brush in order to get a good application and it blends pretty easily as long as you've set your face with powder already it does blend really nicely so I picked up the fresh up highlight powder and it's this right here I think it's so beautiful I think this was of course the thing that everyone wanted the packaging is great as you can see that the buttons black which I thought that was a good accent to it with the black now I have not used this yet but it does have a shimmery overcoat to it so I went ahead and took out half of the uh, golden sprayed overlay on that product and I mixed it together and together it looks like a very light peachy coral blush it would be a good highlight for the deeper skin tone but I think it also make a wonderful blush and that's kind of what I would use it for it would be a blush but overall this product is beautiful and I'm so glad I added it to my collection okay so I went ahead and picked up both of the blushes that were available in the collection and the first one I picked up was crisp white and it's a satin shade I think it is amazing it is a like a very light peachy tangerine color it is gorgeous so crisp white is definitely more on the very pale 
cream orange cream color it is beautiful I, I on my skin on the back of my hand it looks fantastic it would probably add like the perfect freshened up look on the face and I cannot wait to give this a go and it, this is probably going to be my favorite shade so the next thing I picked up was hypnos and this is a frost blush it's so it says it doesn't come off too frosty on my finger but this is like a corally pink color which I think it's fabulous so hypnos is like a perfect corally pink it is, does have a lot more pink to it than it does like an orange base to it but it looks perfect and it has like this beautiful sheen if you apply this lightly it will give you like the perfect flush rosy cheek look and I absolutely love it their blushes are one of my most favorite items from MAC so that's pretty much it for my MAC wash and dry collection I hope you guys like this video I absolutely love actually every single product that I picked out I just knew I was going to like them right off the back I I did go to the store the other day just to see if they had the collection still available. Most of the items were still, I think if not all the items were still available. So I don't know if they ordered a vast amount of their stuff, but you know, kind of learning from last year, their collection sold out really quickly and it was super popular. And I got to swatch all the other items, uh, the lip glasses and the other two lipsticks. And I was not impressed, especially with that lighter orangey peachy lipstick it is so sheer that I just would not even know what to do with it because I could just use this for like chapstick before I go to bed so I did not invest in that but anyway overall this collection is absolutely beautiful I love all the products I picked out they were everything I wanted I did swatch out the rest of the products in store just to kind of see and I do not regret the choices that I made I actually think that out of everything these were the best items to pick out for my collection. So let me know down below if you want to see a look with me utilizing these products. If you want to see me do like an orange bronzy glowy look. Or you just want me to do a makeup tutorial using these products. Just let me know down below. Or if you want to see any kind of tutorial or any kind of specific video. Of course you guys are more than welcome to comment down below of any of my videos. And I usually try to respond. And I do try to pay attention to the comments. So if I've missed out on a comment sometimes I can't reply. So you know it's not that I'm ignoring you guys. But anyway I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.